All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Thor News Lo-Fi video. It was a Lo-Fi video. Usually, I take my incredible editing skills and make super great videos that are edited. Lo-Fi is when I don't edit them all and I just do them in one take. And so that's what you're going to get now. We are... Hold on. Okay, thanks for holding. We're over at the BBC News. It is January 16th. We're at Science and Environment. And we were talking about ice crack to put UK Antarctic base in shutdown. Dun, dun, dun. In a surprise move. This is written by Jonathan Amos, a BBC science correspondent. All right. Halley Base has become a center for the study of space weather. No. Oh. The British Antarctic Survey is to pull all staff out of its space age Haley base in March for safety reasons. Oh. Yeah, guys, we're, re we're really, really worried about this growing crack in the Antarctic. We fear it could break off. So we're going to pull you guys out of there in two months because we care about your safety. All right. The highly unusual move is necessary because the brunt ice shelf on which the research stations sits has developed a big new crack. Bass officials said neither staff nor the base are in any immediate danger, but believe it would be prudent to withdraw while the situation is assessed. Well, I mean, doesn't that mean being pulling them now? Okay. The plan would be to go back on once the Antarctica winter is over. <clears throat> huh? In November. Halley Station comprises a series of high-tech pods that are mounted on hydraulic legs and skis so that they can be moved periodically further inland to get away from the shelf edge where icebergs are calved into the ocean. Huh? I don't understand that sentence. You can explain it to me in the comments. This is an unpredictable situation. Bass is in the process of conducting such a move right now. The relocation is all but complete with the last pod currently in the final stage of being shifted 23 kilometers to the new site. Well, is there a chance your little robotic pods did it? Man, because haven't you seen Terminator and Maximum Overdrive? Like, autonomous robots can get mischievous and cause all sides of danger, cause all types of danger. The move was necessitated by a chasm that had opened up in the shelf and which threatened to cut off Haley. But this huge fissure to the west of the station is not the cause of the temporary closure. Oh. Rather, it is another break in the ice some 17 kilometers to the north and east of the new base position. It has been dubbed the Halloween Crack because it was discovered on 31 October. Now, is this from melting? Or is this from volcanoes? Is this from earth growth? What do we think is causing these Antarctic cracks? I would like to know. Watch drone footage of Halloween crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I. That <laughs> was a funny sentence to me, man. You know, hey, come, um, you know, call up a friend and say, hey, you want to watch the drone footage of Halloween Crack, and see what they say. You know, like. <sighs> All right, at least I had fun during this video. Changes to the ice, particularly in the growth of a new crack presents a complex glaciological picture 
That means the bass scientists are unable to predict with certainty what will happen to the ice shelf during the forthcoming Antarctic winter. Oh. As a precautionary measure, bass will remove its people before the Antarctic winter begins. Yeah, I had gotten a message from an anonymous scientist saying that they were worried about some giant ice shelf falling into the ocean. I wonder if this is what they're talking about. The Brunt ice shelf in Antarctica. Well, I guess the good news would be that they named it properly. Doom jokes are never funny. Well, that thing is continuing to crack. The organization says it does not believe the ice shelf is about to experience a major calving event. But make the point that if something were to happen, it would be very difficult to react in the depths of an Antarctic winter. What we've decided is that given the unpredictability, combined with our inability to do anything about it in winter, no aircraft in the continent, it's dark, it's very cold, all kinds of issues, dash, then actually the prudent thing to do is withdraw our staff, close the station down in a controlled manner, and then go back in next summer. All right, so about that confusing me. I don't know what it is, though. Together with the Rothera base. No, is that like Rothschild era? Before when everything warms up and... <sighs> on the Antarctic Peninsula. Haley spearheads the UK presence, dash, and scientific activity, dash, on the white continent. Oh, God. Now, every time I see the word white, I go, oh, God. Halley gathers important weather and climate data. I'm white, by the way. And it played a critical role in the research that identified the ozone hole in 1985. In recent years, Halley has also become a major center for studying solar activity and impacts it can have on Earth. Wait a second. You're telling me that the sun can have activity on Earth? That is crazy talk. Wait a second. I'll reverse that because I've been having to stand here for, at Thor News for four years that when the sun goes crazy, Earth weather goes crazy, and people go crazy. So me and Hallie agree. This is the most evident in the beautiful auroras that form over the base. The consequence of particles from the sun crashing into air molecules high in the atmosphere. All right. Flying the flag. Just under 20 permanent staff reside at Halley. In winter, they would watch over experiments. BAS now has to decide if any of those experiments can be left running autonomously. Or the weather it is better to shut everything down. Scientists have placed sensors on either side of the more than 40k long Halloween crack so that they can monitor its status. Usually cracks continue to crack. They keep on cracking. Obviously, we'll seek out to get out of those whatever we can. We'll also be using satellite imagery over the winter as well. Then, next season, we'll send a team in to reopen the station, verify the measurements from our instruments, and take the situation from here. But I should say, we are committed to our presence in that part of the British Antarctic Territory and to the science we do there. Absolutely. We spent a long time finding the new site for Haley 6. And of itself, this site isn't directly at risk. It's just the unpredictability of the whole area. Oh man, between this happening and Barnum and Bailey closing down the greatest show on Earth, they seem like strange omens.
All right. No comments, no comments. Okay. There you go, giant crack. Cracking in the Antarctic. Which is... Doesn't seem like good news. Um, so, I guess you can tell me what you think about it in the comments section. I'm going to go over here real quick. We're going to go to a thing called mean sea level pressure. Holy crap! That right now, that is not look good. That is look super weird. There you go. You got a real time, real bonus. Oh my god, that looks like a giant duck about to eat people. Alright, so. Oh, I'll have to look up. Where's the crack in comparison to that? Okay, so I guess I'll look it up. See if the heat has anything to do with it. Go over here. The blue is freezing, and the white is super freezing. So it doesn't look like the heat would be doing it. At least not the top heat maybe from underneath the volcanoes like i was talking about anyway god bless everybody